Ooh wee oo, where oh where are my pretties? What the hell is that? Pretties, beautiful things, ooh wee, bring them to me, more, more, more! Ooh, what is that hideous clashing thing? Um, are you King Crocus? Ooh wee oo, you must be the intruders I've heard so much about. Well, I will not forgive the great thra trashening of my beautiful kingdom. No, Wii U. Thus you are warned. King Crocus, you must release the Kragnons you've enslaved. Never, their sturdy bodies work make such fine workers. Exquisite. I need them to dig up more gems so I can build a bejeweled palace, ooh wee. Why, how positively horrid. Release them this instant. Trash is garbage, no matter how you dress it. This world is made for beauty! Okay, hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, uh... If you need some proof, then have a look at this. Hey, the pure heart. It's the pure heart. I can hear it in, the, in your voice. You want it so badly, you can barely think, hmm? Seems we all seek beauty. So how dare you take a high horse over me? Don't compare us to you, we're nothing like you. you. Your blabber hurts my ears, and your smell is wilting me. I can stand you no longer. I rarely stoop to such things, but I'll destroy you myself. Consider it an honor. Oh god. What's with her ooh wee oo thing anyway? Like, what the hell? You're not a very pretty flower. Holy crap. Ooh, we you, here I come. Okay, Tippy, give me info. I need info. That's King Crocus. He leads the Floro Sapiens and loves beautiful things. Max HP is 50 and attack is 2. He attacks with his head like other Floro Sapiens. I don't think you can damage him when his face is closed off like that. Using the throw to grab stuff then jumping onto him works pretty well, though. Okay, then what are these? That's King Cro- Oh, it's still King Crocus. Thought it would tell me different stuff. Okay, Slim! So I should use throw, but... I don't remember how this fight works, so... Oh, I know. I think we need to jump on these. And, uh, use them to get up there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's how we do it. This is a difficult fight. Oh god, he's using his... There we go, okay, we're good. Let's just ride on this thing until that happens, and then we get hit. Oh god. We're losing HP fast. I remember this fight being pretty hard. Dang it. Do I have any items I can use? Not really. I'm scared, guys. I don't know what to do. Oh god. Hooray for Slim. God, my our health is very low. Dang it. You know I wonder. Maybe if we switch to Bowser, I can do this and still take damage. But if I do that, that'll just yeah, maximum damage there. God, I wish I had healing items. Please tell me this does heal it. No, it doesn't. Well, no healing whatsoever. 
So let's just hide, I guess. Okay, can I... Okay. Should be able to attack him now, but I don't want to get hit by those razor blade things. Can I maybe get rid of him? Oh, I can. Cool. Okay. Oh crap. One night, one health. This is probably not gonna end well, guys. I don't think we're gonna make it. We're probably gonna have to try this again. And we died. I think that's our first game over, actually. Maybe. Pretty sure. Alright, well, let's try it again. This time I'm gonna use Bowser, because he... He, uh... He does a lot of damage. So let's switch to Slim. And skip past all the text, because we've read it. Come on, come on. Yeah, yada yada yada, seen this before, moving on. Bowser. He is bigger and easier to hit, but he might do more damage. Oh, and I can knock those things back. Let's just kind of sit here and do this until they do that. Okay, maybe this wasn't a good plan. Hey, he's already at his second form. Cool. Get rid of those. Hooray for fire breath. It's quite useful. Oh god, I'm gonna get hit. I got hit. I really need to rethink my strategy here. Come back here, I wanna do damage to you. Uh, this is such a hard fight. Dang it. already really low. Remember the when I when I usually do this fight it's always a bunch of hiding. Wonder if flipping would give me an advantage. Probably not. He's probably as a 3D form too. Most bosses do. He always, like, comes out like... Uh, yes! Is he, is he dead? Really? Beautiful! Even as I will, I am, I am beautiful! No, you're not. K King Crocus! What? Whoa, what did you guys do, huh? Oh, I don't know, maybe just beat your king's petals? How does it feel, flower face? Hey, shut up! You don't get it all. You don't get it at all. 
King Crocus was awesome. He totally thought of his people first, man. And you, you wilted him. What? What are you talking about? Water, man. I'm talking about water. The Kragnons are, were polluting our water. Those dudes were tossing trash into the river. We had to drink that crud. That dirty water was what drove our king bonkers. Don't you get it? So then... Oh. Of course, I knew it all along. Oh god, here we go. It's this prick. Cragly Ho! Emergency special report from the Floro front lines. Environmental pollution drives the Floro sapiens mad. Will... Wither... Wait, wither? Wither will they rampage? So the villagers throwing garbage in the river was the reason for this whole thing. Well, I tried to tell those guys, but my thoughts were too far ahead of their time. <clears throat> this this play well with green Kragnon crowd. Ratings explode, brah. It's like Crags on Ice meets Baron, Baron Von Kragington. Yes, once my fellow vi villagers see this, they'll surely realize the error of their ways. Once the words of Flint Cragley reach them, they'll throw garbage no more. Yeah, water, man. I mean, it's easily our most precious treasure, know what I mean? You promise not to dirty our water and we'll just till down here and be cool. And we'll totally take those sprouts off your villagers' naggins, or noggins, too, man. Sounds like a fine way to keep the, the peace in the land. Keep those promises, folks. That was a rather unexpected turn. Wailing on our kings aside, you guys are totally heroes. You should take this. One of our earliest kings received this to safeguard until the hero's arrival. Our people have kept that promise for like 1500 years or something crazy like that. I'm sure our wilted king here would be stoked that this duty got done. Oh, now instead of Mario getting the pure heart, Bowser gets it. This will be interesting. Yay, Bowser's a hero for once. Guys, I, I have to take this moment in. Bowser is actually cool for once. Well, he is cool, but I mean, he's a hero, is what I mean. I've had Mario get all the other pure hearts, but... End of chapter! I forgot to say that. Men of true grit witness li witness... Wait, witness live what others can only see through... Oh, witness live. God, I'm retarded. What others can only see through crag vision. That is what moves me to travel into the belly of the beast week after week. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, Cragly Ho! Having wrapped their latest shoot, Flint and crew went back to downtown of Crag. Mario and friends clutched the sixth pure heart as they walked back towards Flipside. Our heroes had taken a new step towards order overturning the prophecy of destruction. I would love to save my progress. Thank you, game. Raise your chunks in the air as the most debon debonair debonair? I don't know. Why are there so many words in this episode that I don't understand? Man o' men strides into the room. Music note. Springing forth from his lair as his foes all disappear, for black is be the name of their doom. Yeah, O Chunks is totally Australian now. Oh, and I forgot. Music note. Whoa, whoa, that's our black music note. Blacky, blackity doo. Music notes. Yeah, uh, something black. That's the guy who says. Whoa. Music note. Gosh, oh, Chunks, quit it. You're breaking windows. What are you yelling about? Oh, that. Yeah, I just kind of. I just had Oh Chunks come up with a nice motivational tune. And and as punishment for getting beat by that hero again, I'm making him sing it a thousand times. A thousand? A thousand times? Gosh, you're even more evil than I thought. Hey, but enough chatting. So where's the count, huh? I want to see him. He hasn't called me to go do anything, and I'm getting so bored. Hey, Count! <coughs> My destructive little friend is all gassed up and itching to get back in action. Yes, yes, Robot is begging me to take him out. Say the word and I'll roll out. 
Yeah, great enthusiasm, but let's shelve the robot action plan for now, okay? The thing is, the Count kind of left specific orders for us to stand by, got that? No way, we're just supposed to wait here for that big mean hero to come get us? So the Count doesn't need my services. Excellent, I'll just be off then. You go nowhere, we wait. It's the Count's direct order. His word is absolute. Be a good little minion and do not move until told, okay? Thanks. But I'm bored! And Brobot craves his daily smash! I can't just loiter here, there's no action! Ahaha, it's hard to say when you still pine for sweet vengeance, isn't it? Dementio. Hi, Dementio. The Count's orders are all absolute, complete without exception, yes? We shouldn't even dare to think about a secret sneak attack. Perish the thought. Defeating the hero would please the Count greatly, but we must follow orders. Oopsie, I just remembered something real important that I gotta do. Back in a jiffy, bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've uh, got to deflavorize the robot's uh, flavorizer. I'll return once everything's up to code. Later, Dementio. Oh ha ha. My my, isn't that something? I do believe I should be moving on as well. Look, Timpani, the stars are beautiful, aren't they? There's a tradition in my village. We believe that wishes on stars come true. Oh, is that so? Is that In that case, we better get wishing, don't you think? I don't need to wish anymore. Hmm? I already got my wish. Now, I have everything I need right here. Timpani, aren't you cold? Not at all. I'm very warm. Can we stay like this just a little longer? Tippy, Tippy! What? What's the matter, Tippy? You seem a little out of it there. Well, didn't you just hear something? No? Alright then. It's just that, for a second I thought I had remembered something very important. The void, it looks as though it's gotten bigger. I didn't see it grow bigger, otherwise it would have gone- ah! We need to- we need to open the door to the next world quickly, let's hurry. God, the void is pretty big. No, not recipes. Switch back to Mario, because he's cool. Okay. Um... This way, then. We're getting pretty close to the end. I think we only have, like, three chapters left or something. Oh, ho, you're back! Have you seen the sky lately? The void continues to grow larger! I imagine that some worlds have already started to decay. I wonder how long our dear Flipside will be spared. <coughs> the Light Prognosticus doesn't say anything about how long we have. The Light Prognosticus was only written to counteract the Dark One! As such, it's not truly prophetic, so it's hard to say how long we really have. And yet, I feel confident in saying that we do not have much time at all! Oh, great. Well, oh, I almost made Tippy do Merlin's voice. Well, we can only go forward now. We can't just wait for all worlds to end, can we? Of course you're right, my dear! I received a message from Nolrem recently! It seems that someone on the outskirts of Flopside has spotted a heart pillar! As, you've no, as you're no doubt seeking the next heart pillar, that is a good place to start! I will go back to the Light Prognosticus to look for clues! Okay, have fun. Alright, so, to get to the next heart pillar, we need to go to Flopside. And conveniently, we have that pipe to help us get there quicker. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to end the recording here, and then next time we will go uh, look for that heart pillar. So, until then...